Mahadevran Sultan, Ottoman Turkish, comma c. 1500, the 3rd of February 1580. Birth name Mala Rubber Bahar Ray or Rosen Pravain, other names Gul Bahar, Gulba, Gulfrim, Gulden, was a wife of Suleiman the Magnificent and the mother of Sayyid Mustafa, Sayyid Ahmed and Razai I Sultan. Mahadevran's name, Ottoman Turkish, comma means one who is always beautiful, one whose beauty never fades or beauty of the times. Another meaning of her name is Moon of Fortune. It was Suleiman who named her Gulbaha with Gul meaning rose and Baha meaning spring in Turkish and Persian. Little is known of Mahadevaran's early life. Her ethnical background is a matter of controversy. She was either an Albanian or Circassian. Theories of her origins are, according to one source, she was originally named Rosn Pranvir and the daughter of Abdullah Rakai, a wealthy Albanian musician. Turkish drama Mutsam Yuzil, also supports this view. According to an interview with Said Perizat Temrukiglu, a descendant of Mahadevaran, Mahadevaran was the daughter of Mirza Haydar Temruk Bey, a 16th century Kabarde prince and his Crimean Tata wife Princess Nazkan Hatun the daughter of Meliagire. This interview supports the Caucasus origin theory. Other sources, including Andre Klot also support the Caucasian origin theory and say that she was married to Suleiman in January or February of 1512 in Crimea. According to the following sources she was of Circassian origin, the daughter of Mirza Abdullah Haydar Bey, a 16th century Kabarde prince from the princely family of Chakasi Temruko and his Crimean Tata wife and Azkan Hatun, the daughter of Menliagire. She had three sisters Fatma Sardavirin, Akail Russa and Belks has Numa Hatun and a brother, Mustafa Pasha. She also had three half-brothers, Mirza Temruk Bey, Mirza Kambulat Bey and Mirza Seligat Bey. She was descendant of Prince Inal a 15th century Kabarde prince. She was the niece of Ashafsa Sultan and Eshor Begum, through her mother and the aunt of Maria Temriyuk Evna through her half-brother, Temriyuk's Bey. She was also related to Semzai Rasa Hatun, Mafiyus Hattis Sultan and Sazbagli Hatun the wives of Sultans Morad III, Ahmed I and Ibrahim, through her brother, Mustafa Pasha. Life with Suleiman At the age of 14, Mahadevran married Suleiman. On 5 January 1512 at Bosphorus, Istanbul, when Selim I died in 1520, Suleiman moved to Constantinople, the capital of the Ottoman Empire, along with his family to ascend the throne. Between 1512 and 1525 she bore her husband three children, Sayyid Mustafa in 1515 and Sayyid Ahmed in 1517 and Razai I Sultan in 1525. In 1521 Suleiman lost his two other sons, nine-year-old Muhammad and the toddler Morad. Mustafa became the eldest of his princely generation. In the Istanbul Harim, Mahadevran Sultan had a very influential rival, Haram Sultan, who soon proved to be Suleiman's favorite consort, first Husky Sultan. As well as his legal wife, Haram gave birth to her first son Memd in 1521, who died in 1543, and then Selim, future Sultan Selim II, in 1524, destroying Mahadevaran's status of being the mother of the Sultan's only son. The rivalry between the two women was partially suppressed by Ars Hafsa Sultan, Suleiman's mother, but after her death in 1534, as a result of the bitter rivalry a fight between the two women broke out, with Mahadevran beating Haram. This angered Suleiman, who subsequently sent Mahadevran to live with her son. Foreign observers of the Ottomans, especially the ambassadors of the Venetian Republic followed Ottoman dynastic politics closely. Their comments about Mahadevran glimpses of the vital role played by a prince's mother and of her necessary devotion to this welfare. Pietro Bragadin, ambassador in the early years of Suleiman's reign, reported that while both were still resident in the imperial palace in Istanbul, Mustafa was his mother's whole joy. Mustafa's provincial posts, according to Turkish tradition, all princes were expected to work as provincial governors, Sanjak Bey, as a part of their training. Mustafa was sent to Manisa in 1533, in the formal ceremony and Mahadevaran accompanied him. Describing his court at Kara Amid, Dubaykra, near the safe avid border. Basno wrote around 1540 that the prince had a most wonderful and glorious court, no less than that of his father and that his mother, 
who was with him, instructs him in how to make himself loved by the people. At some point Mustafa returned to Maniza and in 1542 he moved to Amazur. By 1546 three more of Suleiman's sons were in the field, and the competition for the succession began among the four princes, although the Sultan would live for another twenty years. The ambassador Bernardo Navajero, in a 1553 report, described Mahadevran's efforts to protect her son, Mustafa has with him his mother who exercises great diligence to guard him from poisoning and reminds him every day that he has nothing else but this to avoid, and it is said that he has boundless respect and reverence for her. Mustafa was an immensely popular prince. When he was only nine, that Venetian ambassador had reported that he has extraordinary talent, he will be warrior, is much loved by the Janissaries, and performs great feats. In 1553, when Mustafa was 38 years old, Navajero wrote, It is impossible to describe how much he is loved and desired by all a successor to the throne. Towards the end of Suleiman's long reign, the rivalry between his sons became evident. Furthermore, both Harim Sultan and the Grand Vizier Rustam Pasha turned him against Mustafa and Mustafa was accused of causing unrest. During the campaign against Saif Avid Persia in 1553, Suleiman ordered the execution of Mustafa. According to a source he was executed that very year on charges of planning to dethrone his father, his guilt for the treason of which he was accused has since been neither proven nor disproven. Up until the very end of her son's life, Mahadevran endeavoured to protect Mustafa from his political rivals, and most probably maintained a network of informants in order to do so. The ambassador Travis No related in 1554 that on the day Mustafa was executed, Mahadevaran had sent a messenger warning him of his father's plans to kill him. Mustafa unfortunately ignored the message, according to Travis No. He had consistently refused to heed the warnings of his friends and even his mother. For several years after her son's execution, Mahadevaran lived a troubled life. Mahadevaran went to Bursa. Ere her son was buried and became the last woman to retire to Bursa. Less fortunate than her predecessors and presumably disgraced by her son's execution, she was unable to pay the rent on the house in which she lived, and her servants were taunted and cheated in the local markets. Mahadevaran's situation improved towards the end of Suleiman's reign when her debts were paid at the Sultan's orders and a house was purchased for her, possibly by Suleiman's sole surviving son. Mustafa's half-brother Selim. Her last years, however, were not in poverty, for Selim too, the new sultan after 1566 as well as her stepson, put her on a salary. Her rehabilitation may have been possible only after the death of her rival, Haram, in 1558. Financially secure at last, Mahadevaran had enough income to create an endowment for the upkeep of her son's tomb which was built by Selim. She died in 1580 and was buried in Mustafa's tomb. Depictions in literature and popular culture In the 2003 TV miniseries, Haram Sultan, Mahadevran was played by Turkish actress Hatice Aslin. In the 2011-2014 TV series Mutsum Yuzil, Mahadevran Sultan is portrayed by Turkish actress Nafahoglu.